designed to support infantry fire, it is capable of destroying tanks and light armor vehicles. It was the ASU-85, a combat vehicle classified as airborne self-propelled gun designed by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. From 1959, it began to replace the open-top ASU-57 in service, and then it was succeeded by BMT-1 beginning in 1969. The ASU-85 was once part of the Soviet and Polish armed forces. It is currently in service with the Vietnamese army. There is information that ASU-85 is also fighting in Ukrainian army. The ASU-85 was commonly used by Soviet airborne units in the 1960s to 1970s. During the border war in 1979, the Soviet Union aided Vietnam with large weapons, including ASU-85 self propelled gun, which Vietnam called SU-85. The ASU-85 is based on the PT-76 tank chassis, but without the amphibious capabilities and fitted with the new engine. The vehicle has three compartments, the drivers in front, the combat compartment in the center, and engine compartment at the rear. The PT-76 turret was removed. The main gun is attached directly to the tank body, thereby reducing the overall height and weight compared to the original vehicle, especially suitable for transport aircraft. The ASU-85 has a weight of about 15.5 tons, a length of 8.49 meters, a width of 2.8 meters, and a height of 2.10 meters. Crew of four people, including commander, gunner, loader, and driver. One of the notable advantages of this gun is that it is relatively compact but has the ability to maneuver quickly on many terrains, including swampy areas or with steep slopes, ensuring firepower to support infantry. The armament consists of a D70 85mm gun derived from D48. It has an elevation range from minus 4.50 to plus 15 degrees. Traverse is 15 degrees either side. The D70 fires the same ammunition as the D48. The combat load is 45 rounds. The gun has an effective range of 1150 meters and a maximum range of 10 kilometers. TSHK-279 viewfinder simultaneously control both the main gun and coaxial machine gun. With high explosive anti-tank rounds 3BK-7, ASU-85 can easily destroy the tanks, light ammo vehicles. It can penetrate 192mm of steel armor from an angle of 60 degrees at a maximum distance of 1km. The coaxial machine gun is either the SGMT or a PKT with a combat load of 2,000 rounds. The front upper glass plate, while only 45mm thick, is quite heavily sloped. However, the rest of the ASU-85 is very thinly armored and vulnerable to even heavy machine guns. The ASU-85 is also somewhat vulnerable to aircraft's traffic, particularly if they attack from the top or are with rockets. The landing or relatively heavy self-propelled guns was carried out only by landing a transport aircraft on the runway, which limited the main tactical advantage of the landing surprise. 
Therefore, in 1964, the ASU-85 was discontinued due to the low efficiency and limited use. Then, in the USSR began the design of a fundamentally new combat vehicle, BMT-1 landing troops. The Soviet Airborne Forces primarily used the ASU-85 as a light infantry support gun. The Soviet Union used the ASU-85 during the Soviet-Afghan war with the airborne troops stationed there. The ASU-85 was only given out to Poland and Vietnam. Poland used the ASU-85 in the same manner as the Soviet Union with 31 vehicles in each airborne divisions. The ASU-85 are still in service with the Vietnamese military with interest on improving their technical performances. In early 2016, 